Hey, Bill, what kind of material are you holding there? I'm holding CFRP, which stands for Carbon Fiber Reinforced Plastic. Again, composite material used in the boating, automotive, aerospace, wind energy markets. Yes, this is a very dense material, which has strong fibers, which are hard to cut. Thank you. Okay, as, as I understand it, you could use a solid carbide tool to cut that material. It may not last that long, is that correct? Yeah, solid carbide will cut out a couple pieces, but then the tool will begin to go. So a, a step up would be coated solid carbide, either uh, you know, a traditional coating like uh, Altin, or even uh, diamond film coatings. I understand the, those are increasing in popularity with composite materials, correct? That is correct. But longest life, what should you use? You want to use a PCD. And the tool that you're holding is a PCD tool? Yes, this is our new SERP bin cutter, which stands for SERP Finisher. And SERP is spelled? S-E-R-F. What, what does that stand for? Sinus Soil Edge Roughing Tool. That's a, that's a mouthful. I, I can see that edge. It, it's, it has a sine wave pattern to it. Yes. Actually, there's two edges which have the sine wave, and they overlap. That way, large bridges are not left on the side of the parts. Now, the advantage to the, the roughing edge, it has a sign pattern, is uh, like any traditional roughing tool, it, it, it shears the material. Uh, what are some of the advantages of, of the roughing pattern on that edge? Well, as you say, it shears the material, but it also lowers the cutting forces, which allows you to feed the tool faster and also achieve longer tool life. Now, let me get another close-up shot of that, that edge. As I can see, it has a sine wave pattern, which is a wavy pattern, so I bet that waving pattern is going to end up on that edge of that material. That is correct. If you run your finger down the edge, you can feel the slight ridges that are left over. Now, in non-critical applications, this finish is acceptable, but there are some parts where you need to get a nice smooth edge, and that's where you have to come back with an alternative finishing tool and take a second cut. Okay, so a two-tool process, rough and then finish. Yes, and that is the reason why we developed the surfing cutter, and that's surf finisher. So we have a finishing wing here, which is slightly higher than the two roughing wings. That way, in one single pass, you'll get a nice smooth edge. Okay, so two roughing wings, wings is another word for Edge or, edges. Okay, so you have two roughing flutes, edges, wings, and then you have a finishing edge. It comes back and makes that nice smooth edge. That is correct. Okay, um, three flute tool. Um, typical feed and speed on this type of tool? Uh, with this tool, you're going to run at about 16,000 RPM and about 150 inches a minute, but that will vary depending on the thickness and the type of composite you're cutting. As, yeah, as I understand, composite material varies dramatically. It's, it's most of this composite material is laid up at the manufacturing uh, facility where they're actually making the, the parts, the components. It, it varies differently, so therefore you do have to adjust your RPM and feed rate based upon the material. Okay, well let's, uh, let's see this tool run, both rough and finish in one pass with a uh, polycrystalline diamond surf finishing tool known as the surf fin.